Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Thursday morning prayer and devotion. God bless you once again for taking part in prayer ministry. Uh, this morning, we want to get right into our uh, needs, uh, many spiritual and family needs we want to pray for today. Uh, thanking God for the praise report from uh, Sister Jennifer as she led the service last night. Uh, talking about things that God is doing in her family and those professions of our belief in what God is doing, our faith in him, our trust in him, as we wait patiently upon him, are going to pay uh, many dividends as we go forward. So I'm excited about what the Lord is doing in her family, in so many other families. Uh, Brother Steve Cummins um, delivered a great lesson last night that also encouraged us and helped us uh, in this area of being patient and trusting in the Lord. And we're going to talk about it a little bit more this morning in our devotion. But in these spiritual and family needs we're praying for, let's do remember Sister Jennifer's uh, family and our continued prayers as well as uh, new families that have been attending uh, church recently. Uh, we had another great uh, Wednesday evening crowd uh, last night uh, with return guests and uh, every class had great attendance last night so we're thanking the Lord for that. Uh, so let's remember Jennifer's family as well as her mom and uh, Donnie, uh, J.R. Johnson, Annette and Dave, the Clark family really needs a, a work of God to continue there in their lives. Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa is in need of mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. Let's continue praying for our Mingo RCF residents. Uh, we had five of them last night in our Celebrate Recovery um, and one first-time guest uh, from the RCF. Let's remember today our uh, Mingo Bingo and Bible study going on there this afternoon. Uh, we need to pray for Job Corps students and their families. Uh, we need to pray for um, Sister Andrea Perkins. Uh, who has just relocated to Memphis, and we're trying to get her connected to a good church there. Let's pray that all would go well for her in that regard. Uh, we need to pray for Frank, Charles, William, Dawson, Ashley, Alan, and Josh, all who are battling addiction. Marcia and Britt's family need our prayers today. Um, Cheryl Chance's family and friends, Jean and Lexi, Beulah Ziegler's granddaughter, Amber, Judy Johnson's grandson, Holden, Regina Marlin's family, Mark and Caitlin, Matt and Michaela, the Sappington family, Debbie Biddick's family, Dana Vasquez, Baby G's adoption proceedings, Pam Pulliam's family, Jennifer, uh, or, I'm sorry, Judy's daughter, Jennifer, and her family needing our prayers as well. Uh, we need to lift up our global North American missionaries. Uh, Marty and Emily DeLott, our church planners in Kabul, Missouri. We're focusing on them in our prayers this month. We're also praying for our North American Missions Director for the state of Missouri, Brother Gary Dornbach, as he will be casting vision uh, beginning this next week at each section in our district uh, in the area of church planting. Metro missionaries uh, Tim and Rachel Richmond and uh, Jerry and Ann West and their families need our continued prayers uh, as they are planning works in Detroit Metro and in Washington, D.C. I received a good report from the West family as they were able to have a, uh, a service uh, with uh, Indiana Bible College uh, group um, right there at the Lincoln Memorial, a public service that came about um, uh, through a mix-up of where they were supposed to be on the National Mall. There was no power there, but on the spur of the moment, uh, the officials there granted them the opportunity to move to the Lincoln Memorial, which would be a much better uh, location anyway. And so they were able to sing right there in front of the reflection pool. What a great opportunity. They had many people stopping and uh, taking part in that impromptu gathering. Uh, so God is opening doors for our Metro missionaries. Let's pray for the Haitian family, the Tamyevs, the Pattersons, and many other global missionaries today that need to be in our continued prayers. Uh, we need to pray for our military personnel, Andrew Williams, 
is serving in our armed forces in Romania. Johnny's nephew, Mark, is stationed in Japan, has been ill recently and not able to perform his duties. So let's pray for them and for God's protection upon all of our troops this morning. Zek Osgood has an unspoken need. Pastor Chuck Clark needs prayer for a job situation. We're praying for Sharon Downing, who's on hospice care. Let's lift up our nursing home residents, uh, believing for them to receive the care that they need and encouragement and strength today. I would ask that you would pray for Anne. She has been a longtime resident of Mingo Residential Care, way back to the days when it was actually classified as an assisted living facility. And we just learned last night that she is being transferred to uh, the Puxico Nursing and Rehab. And so we'll be handing off uh, her uh, care to our ladies team who goes in there every Friday to minister to the residents there. Um, so let's be lifting her up in our prayers as she makes that transition. And many health needs we're praying for today. Let's lift up Regina, Bob, Shirley, Janet, Robin, Judy's brother, Shirley Garner, Devin Huff, George Tibbs, Mike and Tony, Doug Seaball, Vera, and Sister Mara Sullivan. Uh, we're praying for those with arthritis and mobility issues, those who are suffering back pain. Let's lift up Vanessa Govender in prayer again today. She's been dealing with a pinched nerve for several weeks. We have many on our list who are uh, continuing to recover after suffering uh, serious incidents. Uh, many of them having suffered strokes, including Anthony Sifford, Wayne Owens, Buddy Randolph, Billy Huey, Carmen's cousin Kelly, Tina's mother, Johnny's nephew Joey, and Sheila Sappington. We're praying for Pastor Chris Dew as he continues his slow recovery from Guillain-Barre syndrome. Carmen's cousin Shannon, Michelle Strange, sister Cindy, also needing prayer for continued recovery. Seth, Pastor David Kent, Kathy Hardy. Uh, Dalton and Jewel all recovering from accidents, injuries, and surgeries. Uh, we're praying for Sister Pam's granddaughter, Haley. She has a delivery of a child coming up on April 27th. That's her due date, actually, but she has medical complications. Um, also, uh, the teacher that my uh, wife is doing a long-term sub-assignment with in Dexter uh, needs prayer as... Um, she is 32 weeks along in pregnancy with a Down syndrome uh, child and, um, and has had some complications this past week uh, that are more alarming uh, than what they know so far. So let's uh, pray for God's hand upon her and upon her unborn child. Uh, we need to pray for Jamie Joe's aunt, Sherry Wilson. She had knee surgery yesterday. Praying for a quick recovery for her. Paul Swinney, recovering from a spider bite. Um, we're praying for uh, Britt, uh, Rebecca, and Josh, who have been under the weather for the past several days. We need to pray for those who are battling with Parkinson's disease, with dementia, stomach problems, migraine headaches. Uh, the children on our list each day uh, are in need of prayer, and we'll mention their names uh, as we pray today, but there are no new names on this list. All of them we have prayed for for several days now and some for many, many months. Let's continue to pray for those who are dealing with heart issues, lung and respiratory problems. Uh, Darla Crane and Virginia Pride going through precautionary chemo and radiation treatments. Uh, many on our list who are battling cancer. Let's continue to remember each of them and especially uh, Remember Don Williams as he has a doctor's appointment on April 19th to remove more of what was determined to be a basal cell carcinoma. We need to pray for those suffering with diabetes. Uh, I need your prayers in that regard. I'm believing for a turnaround in my blood sugar numbers this morning. Uh, my blood sugar was very high yesterday morning unexpectedly. I think it might have something to do with stress um, as I was mowing the yard uh, the day before, the evening before, and uh, my mower threw a rock and knocked a window out on the church van. And of course, that's an expensive um, accident, um, you know. And so I didn't show up much on the outside, but I guess uh, it, it stressed me out pretty much. 
uh, thinking about it and going through all the cleanup and all that. So hopefully I'll be calm back down today and this blood sugar will come back under control. And I appreciate you praying for me as well as all the others on our list that deal with these symptoms of diabetes each and every day. Uh, Sarah Stroop has been losing more eyesight and hearing. She just went to Cape for an MRI in the past couple of days. As you know, Sarah suffers with MS, as do Marty DeLott, Riley March, and Carmen, Sister Tracy. All of these need prayer for a miracle today. We need to pray for Chase with stage four liver failure and Sherry, who's needing a liver transplant. Um, she was in the hospital, but Judy is just now reporting that she did get to come home from the hospital, so we're thankful for that uh, positive development. And let's continue to believe for her healing. Uh, Melana Cummins' mother is having shoulder surgery today, so let's lift her up in our prayers. Um, and any other needs you're posting right now, we want to make sure we take to the Lord. So uh, take a look at the comments that are coming through in real time right now. And uh, we're praying for those needs as well. Good morning to you, Kristen. I see you're mentioning a regional Bible quiz that you're hosting at your church there in Wisconsin. And Kristen is asking us to pray for all those who are traveling to and from the event and for a blessed weekend for all that are involved. Such a wonderful, uh, wonderful work done through Bible quizzing. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against uh, God. And I remember uh, one year that I was involved in Bible quizzing. Uh, this has been many years ago, and it's a lot bigger than it, now than it was uh, back then. But I did have the opportunity uh, for one season to be involved in Bible quizzing. And I can still quote uh, that chapter, the first chapter of John, because uh, Bible quizzing. So it's so very important. Um, good morning to you, Ben and Judy, Sherman and Pam, Jamie, Joe and Marcia. God bless each of you praying with us live this morning. There are others of you whose names I do not see yet, but I know you're there because we have nine who are live with us right now. So uh, send a, a thumbs up or hit the like or love button. Uh, throw up some prayer hands post a comment, and all those things will let us know that you are here, present, and ready to join in with us in prayer this morning. Let's go to the word of the Lord once again. I'm going to read the same scripture that I read to you yesterday from Psalm chapter 37 and verse number 7. And in the King James, it reads, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. In the New Living Translation, that same scripture says, Be still in the presence of the Lord and wait patiently for him to act. God wants us to wait patiently for him to answer our prayers. And we began to talk yesterday about the temptation that we all face to not wait upon the Lord. And once we have supposedly given the need to him, many times we go to the altar. And when we leave the altar, we pick our need right back up and take it back with us. And after professing that we put it in God's hands, we yank it right back out of his hands. And then we, like Abraham, um, at some point, get tired of waiting, and we decide to answer our own prayers. What a disaster. And um, I want to share that story with you today of Abraham's mistake in the Old Testament of trying to be the answer to uh, his own prayer. That causes all kinds of problems. One day God told Abraham that he was going to make him the father of a great nation, in fact, many nations. And there were only uh, two problems. Uh, one was that Abraham was 99 years old and he was childless. And Abraham looked at his body and he said, no way, Jose, this isn't happening. And then he looked at his wife, Sarah, who was infertile. And that was the second problem. And he said, uh, double no way. This sure ain't going to happen. And so uh, Abraham 
took matters into his own hands and had a baby with his wife's maid, Hagar. Abraham said, here's my answer to prayer. I've got a son at age 99. His name is Ishmael. And God said, no, you missed the point. That's not my answer to prayer. That's your own answer to prayer. I've got a miracle child who's coming, and Sarah's going to be the mother, and you're going to be uh, the father of that child with her, and you're going to name him Isaac, which means laughter. When Sarah was told that she was going to be uh, pregnant, the Bible says that she laughed because she did not believe what God had said. But God had the last laugh. Isaac was born, and it started an intense rivalry between him and Ishmael that the world is still paying for today. The tense relationship between Jews and Arabs all began because Abraham tried to answer his own prayer request. And there has been constant turmoil in the Middle East ever, ever since. So whenever you try to answer your own prayer, you're asking for trouble. Instead, let's obey the word of God and wait patiently on him and watch him act. God will do the work if we will allow him to do it his way and in his perfect timing. So let's believe today for these answers to prayer, and let's not take the needs back out of God's hand after we have placed them there, but let's trust him. God is working on all things together for our good today because we love him, and we are called according to his purpose. Heavenly Father, we thank you again today that you've allowed us this opportunity. And I thank you for this reminder from your word today. Lord, I don't want to be in a position of answering my own prayers. What a waste of time to bring my needs to you and then to decide to work it out on my own. Help me not to do that. I know it's a constant temptation. I'm speaking to others today, but when I point at them, there's four fingers pointing back at me. I understand that that's my temptation as well. And I have done that many times and caused myself so many problems by not simply trusting in you and in your word. I pray today, God, that you would encourage every prayer warrior, that they would be strong, that they would be resilient against all opposition, against every obstacle that's placed in their way, that they would continue to press forward and to believe for these answers to prayer. We believe, God, that you're moving in every one of these spiritual needs, and every one of our family needs, and our families today, in the life of prodigals, Lord, you're moving, you're drawing people by your spirit. You are working works of deliverance today in people's lives. And for every name that we've called on this list and so many others that remain unspoken but upon our hearts, we believe today that you are working the miracle. You are drawing them back to yourself. You are wooing them, Lord, by your goodness. And we pray, God, today that all would come to repentance, that all would come to a place of restoration, that all would receive your spirit. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We give you the praise and the glory for what you're doing, for your salvation work today. We pray for our global missionaries, our North American missionaries who are on the front lines today. Be with them, God. Grant them your continued favor. Open doors for them. Help them to use wisdom. Wisdom, Lord, to be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, that they might accomplish a work for you in this wicked generation. You're wanting to take a people out for your name's sake. And we're knowing, God, today that you have the ability to do the things that we cannot do our, on our own. And prayer is the vehicle that you use to transport the blessings and the favor that you want to be upon our lives today. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, for those who are serving in the military in tense situations today, in these areas around Taiwan, around Ukraine and Russia today. We pray your protection, Lord, upon Andrew, upon Mark today, upon all those that are serving uh, under our flag today. God, we pray that you would protect them. We pray, God, for the Haitian family ministering to our military families in Germany. We pray for every military chaplain that's doing a great work for you in encouraging and directing our troops spiritually. We pray, God, for Pastor Chuck Clark that you would move in his job situation. We lift up Zach Osgood today. We pray, God, that you would move in his unspoken need. Touch Sharon today on hospice care. 
We pray for Ann as she transfers to a new a care facility today that you would help her to adapt and to adjust uh, to that new residence. We pray for compassionate and competent care for all of our nursing home residents today. We pray they would be strengthened and encouraged in you. We pray, God, for each of these who we've mentioned who have health needs today, that you would reach down and touch them. Lord, touch Shirley Garner and Devin Huff. Touch George Tibbs and Mike and Tony, Doug Seaball and Vera. We pray for Mara today, for Regina, for Bob and Shirley, for Janet, for Robin, for Judy's brother, for Rose Brown and June Coffer, for Sister Judy Williams' mom, these three ladies who are dealing with the effects of arthritis pain. We pray for Sheila, Chris, and Renee with mobility issues. We lift up those who are suffering with back pain and back issues today. Becky and Carolyn, Melena and Lori, Michael and Brianna, Billy and Jenny and Cindy, Bob O and Britt Moore and Rebecca Williams. In the mighty name of Jesus, we believe for healing for them. We believe for healing for Vanessa today, suffering with a pinched nerve. We pray for all these who are continuing to recover. We believe, God, for complete recovery from stroke, from accidents, from surgeries, from life-altering circumstances. God, we know that you're able to restore fully. And each name that we called out today, you heard, Lord, and you are aware of these needs. And we entrust you with them today. We pray for Haley, Lord, for her delivery to go uh, well, safely, and for the child to be healthy. We pray for uh, the teacher that Jamie's working with right now, God, that you would just touch her body today, touch that child, that Down syndrome child in the womb that has so many complications. We pray, God, for your hand upon both of them. In Jesus' name, we pray, Lord, for uh, Britt and for Rebecca and for Josh, who have been uh, sick for several days. We pray for your complete healing for them. We pray for Paul Swinney for healing of this spider bite. We lift up Sherry Wilson, believing for quick recovery from her knee surgery. We pray for Melena's mom today, God, that her shoulder surgery would go well and that she would recover quickly. We lift up Beulah and Matt and Joey and Vivian, Tim Workman and Russ and my dad. We believe, God, for each of them uh, to be strengthened and for healing from Parkinson's. I pray, God, for your traveling mercy upon my mom and dad. Lord, as they're traveling this weekend, keep your hand of protection upon them, we pray. We pray, God, for Vivian and for Johnny's mom and for Kristen's friends. Dad, we believe for healing of dementia today, for healing of stomach issues for Olivia and Natalie and Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey, for Heather Spence and for Michael Parrott, for Ginger Williams, Lord, for Pam's granddaughter, Savannah, in Jesus' name, we pray, God, that you would just minister a complete healing touch to their bodies today. We proclaim healing of migraine headaches for Malena and Beth and Marcia and Marcia's co-worker's son today. Every child on this list, we believe, God, for a miracle work for baby G, for Abby, for Gus's grandson, for baby Dallas, for Navy and Milo, for Darla's granddaughter, we lift up Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker, believing for healing of childhood cancer. We pray for Brantley and Elsie's healing today from heart issues. Tano with spina bifida and Sophia with scoliosis. Abel, who suffers with PKU syndrome. Abram with GNAO1 disorder. You are the mighty God, and you are well able today. There is nothing that is too hard for you. You're able to restore Arlo today. You're able to heal him. Emily uh, of epilepsy, Bailey Mays, hearing loss, uh, we give to you today. We believe for Madison as she continues to recover from recent brain surgery. In the, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We pray, God, for those with heart issues today, Don and Betty, Jimmy and Michelle's mother, Amy Dees and Cheryl and Chance, Brother Mark Morris, Kelly and Blaine and Kenny Prenzel. We believe for Mike Sappington, who's been on the way waiting list for a heart transplant. We agree, Lord, for Joyce's healing, for Sister Patty Arnold, for Bud Taylor, for Jamie Joe's cousin Jerry, for each of them to be restored to health today. We pray for healing of the lungs for Rebecca Rush, 
for Gary Shepard, for Kendra Ortiz, for Robbie Northrup, for all those who are dealing with seasonal allergies right now. We believe for healing for them. We pray for Virginia and Darla as they continue precautionary chemo and radiation treatments. All these who are battling with cancer today, Don Williams, Dwayne Lewis, Claire, Alice, Michelle's sister, Cindy, Tony, Marcia's friends, grandparents, Amy Dees and Bob Stanley, Melissa and Michelle, Cheryl and Diane, Venus's niece, Heather. We lift up Dennis Phelps and Sherry and, and Scott Lucia. We pray for Betty and Ari and Donna Hayes, Jamie Joe's grandpa and Johnny's cousin, Kathy. We believe for Kristen's Aunt Jean and for Christy Smith, for Sawyer and for Carmen's cousin, Amanda. You are able, God, to heal all manner of disease. And we give you the glory and the praise, Lord, for the work that you're doing right now. And we claim these things in your name. Hallelujah. It's your power that's working today. You deserve all the glory and the praise. Hallelujah for healing diabetes today. For Steve and for Grady, for Tim, for Cindy and Lloyd, for Cheryl, for Brother Pulliam, for Jimmy Warren, for Christian and Titus, for Christian's neighbor Natalie for J.R. and for Christina and for Becca, for Rose Brown and Evie and Emily, for Michael and Anthony today, for myself, we claim that healing touch. We believe God for healing of MS, for Brother Marty DeLotte, for Riley March, for Carmen's sister Tracy, for Sarah today. Lord, you see the complications that Sarah has been dealing with from this disease, and we believe for your help today for her. We, we believe for healing of liver problems today for Chase and for Sherry. We know, God, that you are well able to do anything. We pray, God, for these organs to be restored. We pray, God, uh, for all disease to leave their body. And we give you the praise and the glory for it right now in Jesus' name. We pray, God, for the Bible quiz uh, tournament, that's uh, the event that's going on at Christian Church this weekend. We pray your protection upon those who are traveling to that event and home from the event. We pray for it to be a great experience for all the young people involved and to further them in their walk with you. We give you the praise and the glory for all these things today. And it's in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus that we ask it all. Amen. Amen. God bless you for being a part of this prayer team. I so appreciate it. We have one more prayer session for this week. Tomorrow morning right here on Facebook at 7.30 a.m. I hope that you'll be able to join me. I will see you then.